It looks like I've got pink lipstick. Like, what? I haven't. I haven't got lipstick on. I've been. I was up a lot, sneezing, and, and I've got dry lips, and I haven't got lipstick on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Eye. How the devil are you? Today is the day where we play Nuke's Top 5, baby. Absolutely. Five ghost videos so scary, I disappeared for a week. <laughs> oh, Nuke, you're a legend, mate. Anyway, this, my friend, is going to be good. I know it is, because it's Nuke's Top 5. Make sure you go over to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing, Okay. And while we're at it, like, I know I keep on plugging my other channel and stuff like that, but I'm passionate about it. The same as I'm passionate about this. Please make sure you go over to my other channel, Casper Vision. All right? Subscribe and do the thing. I'm doing loads of stuff on there, mate. At the moment, I'm doing a couple of vlogs. And I've got another vlog that I'm editing at the moment, mate. And that's going to go to another level. Trust me. I go to a freaky deaky forest. But it's not a ghost hunt, I'm telling you. All right, anyway. So please go over there, subscribe and do the thing. I would love you forever. I really would. I really want it. I want both channels to grow like maximum, mate. Maximum growth, please. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, da dilly day. Let's do this. Shh. Top five ghosts. Go on, Nuke. Caught on camera, hiding under the covers. Over on the. Hiding under the covers already, mate. It's gonna be freaky deaky, I know it. YouTube channel, Austin's Vinyl Corner. This guy, whose name is Austin, uploads videos where he discusses and reviews vinyl records and talks about all things related to music collecting. Wow, man, what a passion. G you go for it, mate. What a passion. Austin has never shared anything on his channel that is even remotely related to the supernatural. That is, except for one creepy video. Now, in the video, Austin explains that he was sent some spooky CCTV footage by one of his co-workers who claims that her house is extremely haunted. The young woman says that late one night she was fast asleep in bed when the motion-activated CCTV camera in her bedroom captured a short video that is absolutely chilling. Oh god, mate. Look, 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 look. look at the chicken already. Look, it's happening already, Nuke. You've done it already, mate. What I'm thinking about is, you know, the ring? Where, like, maybe he's watched this video, and now, like, now he's bloody haunted because he's watched the haunted video. And now he's got to send the video to somebody else. You better not... I'm about... We're about to watch it. We're about to watch it. I'm about to watch it. But it's okay, because if I've watched it, then I'm going to be haunted. But then but when it uploads, you're going to watch it, so you'll be haunted. <laughs> hey, don't worry. You'll be fine. Just give it to somebody else. Oh, mate. Let me play this one, then I'll play the next one. Seven. This dorm right before it. With oh, no, this is. Uh, uh, where have I seen this? I've seen this somewhere. I've seen this. What? I've seen it. Haven't I? It's gonna play 30 seconds, then it's gonna stop for a minute. And within a minute, this weird happens. Oh, uh, yeah, I've seen it. Mate, where have I seen it? This is the problem, man. This is the problem. With, when I start reacting to other channels, you know? Now, I, 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 I would imagine that it's been. Because this is three weeks old now, what Nuke's done. Nuke's done three weeks, right? Nuke did this three weeks ago. Somebody's gone, that's a good thing. Ripped his, ripped his footage and then taken it. And I've, I've reacted to them before. Oh, mate, no. Ah. At first, Austin's co-worker is sleeping quietly and the CCTV camera doesn't detect any movement, other than some occasional tossing and turning in bed. But then, late into the night, the camera starts to record as something moves. 
something that almost looks like the head of a person rising up underneath the sheets. When the woman awakes, the creepy figure vanishes into thin air. Austin's co-worker claims that the video is 100% real, and even Austin himself says that he doesn't believe she would even know how to fake such a creepy encounter. But let me know what you think. Com what do you think, mate? What do you think? Do you reckon that's like, um... <clears throat> Do you reckon she's just put her legs out for something, or two feet, and then just dropped them down real quick and stood up? Could be, couldn't it? That is quite cliche, but it's freaky. But I'm so gutted I've seen it. Caught on camera. Joe Colion is stopped by a Houston police officer for suspicion of driving under the influence. Despite the fact that Joe explains that he is physically handicapped with a bad leg, the officer still forces Joe to stand for 20 minutes to take a field sobriety test. Eventually, Joe Colion is arrested, but it should be noted here that Joe was later proven innocent in court. Why, why are you making me do this? I, I will conduct your test, but I'm going to tell you this, that I'm handicapped. Okay. Like, you see, when I don't like this place, okay, I, I, have a, I have a false leg from my okay. hip to my knee. Okay. Also, this police officer in the video later resigned after it was revealed that he had received multiple serious complaints of misconduct. For the full story, I highly recommend checking out the in-depth investigation over on the YouTube channel, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. When this video was posted, many YouTube viewers- I, 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 What am I watching here? <laughs> was spotted something else in the video oh. that was also very disturbing. Right, okay. Watch closely. What the fuck? It's a skateboarder. Is that a skateboarder? A strange figure that looks like a person seems to glide behind both Joe and the police officer at an oddly fast speed. That's somebody on a skateboard. It's somebody on a skateboard, clearly. But it looks, it looks, it looks suspicious because it's so blurry in the background. Now, at first, I thought this was simply a compression glitch caused by someone passing behind them in the dark, too far away from the camera to appear clearly. But that theory is pretty much disproven by the fact that multiple vehicles pass behind the two men, and all of them appear very well lit and highly detailed. So, yeah. what do you think this dark figure is? That is. is oh, okay, okay, no. Looking at it now, like, for a skateboarder to. Cause I used to skate like massively, mate, massively. And for him to maintain that speed, he would have to push at least twice to get across that distance at that perfect speed going across like that. It, like it didn't slow down. It didn't, sl it didn't speed up. It just went straight across. That's my first initial thought. That's, that's a bloody skateboard, mate. But I don't know. Unless he's being pulled, but no, nah, I don't know. That is freaky, man. Feel sorry for this dude with the, the, the bad leg or the fake leg. Something paranormal that was accidentally captured on police dash cam footage? You decide. You decide. You can watch a great video breakdown of this potential ghost footage over on the YouTube channel, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. And you can see the original full length unfair arrest over on the YouTube channel, Joe Colleone. Joe Colleone. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The shortcut. Early one evening. Never take a shortcut, mate. Never take a bloody shortcut. Around 7.30 p.m. in Gothenburg, Sweden, Elon is on her way to an appointment when she decides to take a shortcut through a small park in the city center. It did not go well. Elon is completely alone, and as she's walking through the park, she decides to record a video to post to her Instagram page. Men där framme ja ah, what jävla skitskog men men shortly after posting the video Elon receives a very disturbing message from one of her friends the friend points out that a bizarre distorted face can be seen oh, peeking fucking out what 
out at Elon from behind a tree. What makes the footage even creepier is- Oh, what the hell, mate? Oh, God. Look! The chicken! That at the bottom of the same tree, there's another unexplained dark figure with what? glowing eyes. Now, the eyes at the bottom of the tree could simply be an animal. But just what? Look at the state. That? What the hell are you, mate? You got a third eye at the bloody top here, mate. Got maximum eyeballs. After I reached out to Elon, she explained to me that she's a skeptic and doesn't really believe in the supernatural at all. I want to make something very clear here. I don't believe in the paranormal. I am not scared of my own video. I think it's creepy looking, but I don't believe it to be a ghost. As for all these like ghost videos out there, I believe that there's always an explanation for them. It's just that we don't know what the explanation is. She's never so. posted any paranormal videos to Instagram or to her YouTube channel. She says she's puzzled and just wants help in figuring out just what this strange shape could be. Mate, it's like it, it morphs. It's like, like some flowing massive, like flowing hair and shit, you know? What's all that about? It reminds me of some sort of like a Klingon or something. Like, uh, I don't know, I've seen it somewhere. I've seen that picture somewhere. Like, uh, where have I seen that picture? You know the film Saw? Is, he, is, it, is it the pig head or something with the black hair or something? Something like that. Yellen returns to the park a day later to look around in daylight, but she doesn't find anything that could explain what she captured on camera. She says that raccoons and possums are incredibly rare in Sweden and certainly don't usually show up in a city center park. I think it was this tree. And for everyone claiming there's a den here, there's no den here. There's no den at all. Not by this tree either. Oh, mate, you would you go back out there? You can see, there are skyscrapers down there. So, for everyone saying it's a lynx, like. No, we don't have lynx here. We don't have bears. We don't have uh, raccoons. Well, was it a skyscraper? Lights that, like, kept, no, because it just, no, no, no. See all the wildlife here? All the bears and lynx. Oh my God. I can't believe there's so much wildlife here. It's like I'm in Yosemite. <laughs> so, what do you think? Yeah, no, no, that's not, that's not, that's not a skyscraper bear. <laughs> Could this be something paranormal? Could it be a creepy creature? And perhaps the most disturbing question of all, That's weird. why does this strange thing seem to have long dark hair yeah. like a person? Yes. Whispering in church. Over on the channel Urbex Hill, YouTuber Christopher Hill is back with another urban exploration of a creepy old abandoned church in Cleveland, Ohio. This time, Chris is exploring an old Lutheran church that was built back in 1940. The church has been abandoned for over 15 years, but it has somehow remained in fairly good condition, free from any vandalism or graffiti. Nice. Chris carefully and respectfully makes his way through the large building, recording the elegant architecture of the church interior. He finds furniture and belongings that date back to the 1980s, and even some pieces from the 1950s. But as he climbs the stairs to the second floor of the abandoned church, he hears some very strange sounds that stop him in his tracks. Mate, I've seen this now as well. Right, okay, listen, I've seen this one as well. Mate, okay, listen guys, I'm sorry about this. I'm, I'm genuinely quite sort of, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do about this. Because I want to react to the, the paranormal videos. You guys clearly want to see the paranormal videos. But the ones that I'm like, I only do Nukes, Nukes Top 5 on Mondays, okay? And I leave it about three weeks until I react because it's only fair for Nuke. But what I'm doing is I'm seeing other videos which are, I don't know who's, who's taking them first. I don't know whether like Nuke's uploading them and then so another channel's going, I'll have that, boom, and, and take it or whatever's going on. But I'm seeing, like, I'm seeing, the, I've seen these already. There's two videos so far out of four. Is it three or four? 
No, three. That I've already seen. I don't know what to do. I think I might have to leave the compilations to nuke and just maybe focus on like channels. Channels with their own with their own stuff. Because too many people are taking footage from other people. Do you know what I mean? It's just happening. You know, one one video comes up and it's epic, so all these compilation videos are taking. Let me know what you want me to do. Did you hear it? I did, mate. The baffled explorer explains in his video that he hears something strange as he climbs the stairs to the second floor, but he's not sure just what the sound might be. So I decided to enhance the audio from this section. Now watch the clip again and listen closely. I see one thing I would say though, right? After looking at the other reaction channel, their version of this, I'm sorry, but Nuke does it so much better. It does it so much better. There's, there's something like, like for this, for example, you know, he's enhanced it. He's gone back. He's looked at other footage. He, he, he like sets it up properly for you instead of just playing the clip, you know, big shout out to you, Nuke, for doing this, man. So much better. Hey, help me. Okay, so hang on a second. It's a test? Now, these are different words that I'm sure I, I saw last time on the, other, on the other compilation. I think, like, people are hearing different things. It's a test? I, it's a test and can I help you? Wasn't on the last video. I'm sure it wasn't. It's a test. It's a test. That sounds like it's a test. A mysterious childlike voice can be heard saying, can you help me? And then seconds later, what sounds like the voice of an older woman seems to whisper, it's a test. <laughs> like, I like the way Nuke's just gone, can you help me? It's a test. I like his freaky deaky voice there, man. <laughs> Chris has no idea what he just captured and continues on with his exploration on the second floor of the creepy church. Then much later, when he comes back to the same staircase again to head back down, it happens again. See that whispering, mate, it Fs me right up. Fs me right up. This time a voice can be heard whispering something. And again, I enhance the audio, but this time I'm not able to make out just what is being said. It almost sounds like multiple voices whispering all at once. Yeah. Listen again and let me know in the comments if you can make out anything that the creepy voices are saying. Here we go. Nah, I can't. I can't. It's impossible. It's impossible. Chris eventually leaves the church having no idea what he just captured on camera. But after he uploads his video to YouTube, things take a very creepy turn. Viewers of his channel point out to Chris that he might not have been alone in the old church. While Chris did hear the strange sounds and whispering, he didn't see this. Yeah, 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 so I've seen it, mate. A huge dark figure can be seen standing in a room at the end of the hallway. 
Chris turns to film close-ups of the church's stained glass windows, and when he pans back, the large mysterious figure. It's bloody gone, mate. Unless it is it a door? It's gone. That is, okay, that That's wow. So did Chris capture voices and then Whoa! Okay. Mate. What the hell? Look at the difference. It's like somebody's jacket or jumper or something. An apparition of spirits that haunt the old church. You decide. You can watch this full video and many more of Chris's explorations over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. The Haunted Ranch. Mexican ghost hunter Crisel Luna and a friend travel to an abandoned ranch in a small town in Jalisco, Mexico. Crisel talks to a local man named Salvador who is part of a work crew that is remodeling the property. Salvador tells the two investigators that all of the workers believe the ranch to be extremely haunted, and they have even found human remains on the site. The workers claim to have experienced many strange things while working at the ranch. They've heard strange, unexplained sounds in the property's warehouse. They've heard footsteps going up the stairs to the second floor, and many even claim that they have seen the apparition of an elderly woman wandering the grounds. Oh, here we go, mate. Fisel and her friend begin their investigation on the second floor and soon begin to experience strange activity. I want to start this investigation climbing up these stairs that are from what he was talking about. Unas escaleras por las que escuchaban que una persona de madrugada subía, se escuchaban los pasos, como ahora los míos. Y dicen que siempre al llegar okay, al now. último escalón, dejaban de escucharse, como si esa entidad ya no quisiera llegar hasta este espacio. Que la verdad es bastante we saying, love? Bien, Que tiene algunas habitaciones. Vamos a iniciar por esta. Vamos a ver qué es lo que hay aquí. Se ve que hay algunos muebles antiguos que ya están llenos de tierra. Que ya están. Oh, ¡Ay! Shh. ¡No, no, no! ¿Viste, Melissa? Se movió. Ya, ya, ya. ¡Ay, Dios mío! Pero ya acabamos de llegar. Sí estaba moviendo, ¿verdad? Yo vi como que se movió esto. The two investigators make their way down into an old warehouse that is being used as a storage area. They find dust-covered furniture, discarded building materials, freaky, and even man. an old broken-down truck. And then things start to get a bit weird. While exploring the dark and dusty warehouse, Griselle gets a very creepy feeling. She says that it almost feels like they are being followed by something. And Griselle's bad feeling soon turns much worse it's gonna kick off mate it's gonna kick off in mexico let's go y acá se ve una bodega a ver vamos a entrar aquí ay dios aquí se siente la temperatura mucho it's colder in there mate mucho más fría como la sientes tú melissa fría ay, se mucho se... fría allá atrás ay dios mío que será un gato un perro que anda aquí que anda ahí ay 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 está horrible a ver vamos a ver Vamos a avanzar. ¡Ay! Estoy escuchando ruido. ¿Quién anda ahí? ¿Sabes qué? What was that? Was that... <risa> Yo siento que alguien nos está siguiendo. Siento de verdad desde hace ya un rato, Melissa, como algo viene pegado a mi espalda, pero siento que algo está jugando con nosotros. ¿Qué habrá ahí? Yo siento que ahí se escuchó el ruido, ¿eh? What am I fucking hearing here? What am I hearing here, mate? Ay. Hola. ¿Quién eres? Oh shit, mate. I'm hearing shit everywhere, man. Ay, como una mujer. Ay, escucha, escucha, escucha. Se escuchan ruidos como si alguien caminara ahí. Ay, no, vamos. Oh, so it's her friend. Sorry, I thought it was a dude. I thought, but like, why, why is he speaking so high? Pero eso fue muy claro. Fue muy claro el... Como un lamento, como si alguien estuviera llorando. ¿Quién anda ahí? Necesitas ayuda, ¿quién eres? Una sombra, una sombra. Right, we're gonna see something, we're gonna see something. Ay, ay. Oh, oh mate. Sí, vámonos, vámonos. Ay, no, pero es que quiero ir, a ver. Is it like the wind traveling through a hole or something? ¿Quién es? 
the two investigators hear the sounds of something moving in the dark storage area. And then they hear disturbing moans that sound like a woman quietly weeping. Oh, my. Giselle and her friends start to regret their decision to come to the haunted farm at all, and they decide to end their investigation with a prayer. And that's when things take a terrifying turn. Oh, mate, you would think a prayer would calm shit down, not e escalate things. Acabamos de hacer una oración por todas estas almas o por la entidad que se encuentra aquí porque hemos sido testigo y es muy, muy impactante lo que hemos vivido dentro de este sitio donde sé que hay almas en pena o probablemente Maximum solo dust, una mate. que está aquí y que es la que se ha manifestado. Esta oración fue para ti y para todas las demás entidades que se encuentran aquí. Yo creo que es momento de retirarnos porque... ¡Oh, shit! ¡No mames, Rubio! ¡Algo vamos ¡Look at you! ¡Ay, Kiki Boomin! ¡Ven, por favor, por favor, algo! ¡Córrele, córrele, córrele! ¡Ay! ¡No mames, que hay aquí! ¡Córrele, Meli, ven! ¡Ay, no mames! Es que yo aquí vi que se asomó algo. There's no one there, there's no one fucking there, there's no one there. Te lo juro. ¡Ay, quién anda aquí, quién anda aquí! Yo ya. Ya no sé. De verdad. No, no hay nada. ¡Ay! ¡No, vámonos ya! Oh, it's happening vámonos, again. Vámonos, con cuidado, con cuidado, el momento de irnos. A shadowy figure with dark hair and pale shoulders rises from behind. Oh, mate, mate! In the truck's cabin. Now, to her credit, Criselle fearlessly rushes yeah. over to investigate. She ramboed it, Nuke. She ramboed it. Gate, nearly tripping on the old boards covering the storage room floor. But there's no one there. The two friends have finally had enough, and they decide to just get out of there. So, are the stories about the ranch true? Does a dark female spirit roam the property? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? That's a good hoax, mate. I'm telling you, because at first I thought maybe it's her friend, like with the light in the back, like her friend lifting up and then coming back down and seeing the silhouette. But you don't see it on the car. You decide. You can find this full investigation over on the YouTube channel, Criselle Luna. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram here and on Twitter there. Absolutely, mate. Hopefully, Done I'll it. see you next week. There you go, mate. That's Nuke's top five, but I saw two out of five of them. I'm absolutely gutted, mate. And I'll be honest with you, I'm worried a little bit. You know, because over time, I have it's been it's been more and more difficult to find like genuine, original content of the paranormal. Um, and what I, I think what's happened here is literally because I wait three weeks to do a Nuke's top five, okay, um, another uh, compilation ghost video channel sees Nukes, takes it, creates their own, and then I go over there, react to that. Three weeks later, I go back to Nukes and I've already seen it. That's what's happened. Um, because over time, it has been, it's been more tough, mate. It's been more tough to, uh, to look at these things, to find them. So I don't know what to do. I think what I'm going to have to do is literally just have, just react to Nukes top five on the Mondays, okay? And then throughout the week, maybe uh, find other paranormal channels, like dedicated channels to, to the paranormal. If I was going to take any video, reaction video, it would be Nuke's top five. Because he just does them so much better. Like, it just, I know that I've seen those videos before, but the build up, the sounds background that he puts up there like you know the history of it all it, it just builds up so much better than the other ones the other ones just literally take that clip upload it do a little voiceover job done you know anyway i hope you liked it i hope those are the videos that you haven't seen and i'm sorry if like my reactions um sort of disappointed you on this one but straight off the bat mate when as soon as i saw the first one that i've already reacted to it sort of put me on a slippery slope with downer you know not a downer, I mean, I don't over-exaggerate, but it just, it was disheartened, because I was super looking, for, I look forward to Nuke's Top 5 every single Monday. So, anyway, there you go, mate. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, leave a little like, mate, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, okay? And let me know what you want me to do. Anyway, thank you so much, take care, bye-bye.